So welcome everyone to our monthly academia session. We are so excited to have you here. Um, we are going to start off. Uh, I have a little bit of housekeeping before we start, but um, then we're going to start with our tech talk uh, and our speaker this month is Mark, uh, one of our new um, support specialists, and he's going to do, uh, he's going to present on Academia 10.1.0. Uh, so Mark, we're really excited to, to see your presentation. We'll take questions about the presentation directly after, and then we'll open the floor to, um, we'll open the floor to uh, any questions, any general questions about academia. Uh, and that'll be our live Q&A session. And then following that, we should have our user spotlight who is going to be uh, Lester Chisholm from uh, City University of New York or CUNY. And so just a quick note about our upcoming webinar. Um, we, for those of you not aware, we host a monthly webinar series uh, and this is completely complimentary. Uh, so for anybody interested in this next one, this is going to be all about tutor training and assessment uh, with uh, with Jared Moses from Northern Kentucky University. Uh, and again, this is free to attend. So um, that is going to be on Tuesday, September 3rd at 2 o'clock. So Eastern. So I am going to go ahead and paste that link in the chat for anybody who wants to join us. And then I also want to mention we are going to be uh, hosting a live uh, a live conference uh, for professional development and academia training this October. Uh, our two keynote speakers for that are going to be Corey Hammond and Michael Frizzell. This is going to be the uh, Academic Center Summit. Um, so I know a, f a few people have already signed up, but for anyone who hasn't, um, we are running uh, we're running some uh, a lower rate now than uh, then you will get closer to the uh, closer to the um, time of the conference. So we really encourage you to take a look at that and see if that's something you're interested in. We've got a fabulous schedule that we're building um, and I am really excited to uh, hopefully see some of you there. So again, I will paste that link in the chat. All right, now I'm going to hand things over to Mark for our tech talk. Thank you, Rachel. Uh, as Rachel kind of introduced you guys, uh, I'm Academia's new support representative, and today we're going to be covering Academia's 10.1 update. So in this update, uh, we have a lot of new features to kind of go over. Mainly, it's going to be mostly on the home page with our new widgets that we've added. We have three new widgets along with a new filter for our availability widget. Uh, to start, uh, we're going to cover Booksmart, upcoming reservations and the media checkout widgets. To give a better idea of these, we're going to go ahead and log into academia under our student role. So on the student's homepage, we will now see three new widgets once these are added uh, to your guys' customization. The first one to cover is going to be our Booksmart widget. Booksmart is a marketplace for students to buy and sell used books between each other. Now, with this widget, what it allows is it gives the student an idea of what books uh, would be used in their courses or with their instructors based on um, if they have set those when they're posting the book. So, for example, this student is enrolled in both uh, a math course and a physics course, so it's recommending the books for both of those. And let's say a student only has two registered courses, it's going to show also a random book for the third one. So three books are always going to show for a student here. Uh, we also have a view all button in the top left, and this will take us to our Booksmart page that um, we've had to where you can post items and kind of get more details on the books that were uh, seen on the widget. If we go back to our home page, we can move on to our next widget, which was going to be the upcoming reservations widget. This widget allows a student to see what rooms they've reserved uh, for reservation based on what center they're in. So we can see the, the resource date, start time, end time, and what room it's going to be for. This also has a view all button in the top left. That's going to take us to our resource reservation page where also new reservations could be placed. And for our third new widget, it's going to be the media checkout items. This widget is going to give a student an idea of what items they have checked out per center. So 
if we see here in red, it's going to show that the item is overdue. And in green, it's going to show that the item is still uh, allowed to be out for checkout. Um, this is also by center. So if we go ahead and just show what's checked out in our math center, we only see one item, for example. Uh, now we see that this also popped up. This is going to be our last and final thing on the home page. This widget has a new feature, uh, which is these filters here, select by service and select by subject area. This is going to allow you guys or the students actually when they're scheduling appointments to select a service. For example, let's say a student only needs help with math. This will now show only tutors that have been assigned to that course rather than showing all of the available tutors at that time. Another example of this is if we go over to my testing advising center, I can change the service to let's say we have three advisors, but only one of them can do career building. We can see which one that would be in all the available times. Uh, there is another place that these filters will show up and we'll cover that along with the admin side of this update. Now, I think that concludes our homepage. So if we uh, wanted to jump back and cover our next topics. We now have uh, the simplified media management tab. This is going to be a new page that's going to allow tutors and admins to check out, renew and return items. Uh, this can be done in bulk, making it a lot easier if you have multiple items coming in, let's say at the end of a semester or even in the beginning of a semester, you need to check out multiple items. So if we go ahead and look at our admin side of academia, you'll see this new tag. If we follow that to our media checkout and this new media items in and out, this is going to be that page that we're referring to with our enhanced uh, checkout features. So if we use that student that we were signed in with the checked out items, we can see that one overdue item. We now have the option to renew that item with a quick click of a button. And what that's going to do is it's going to renew the item to the default time that that item is allowed to be checked out. We also have it to where these items can be returned very quickly. So if we have that item's ID, we can then place it here and return the item. Now, I think I just have, I think it was our second calculator. So th there we go. Now we can confirm that that's been checked out and it creates a list for the day. Uh, this will then reset at the end of the day. But if you wanted to make sure that you returned everything at the end of the day, let's say we have 20 uh, textbooks checked out, we can make sure that we receive all 20. Now, the last thing to cover for this new feature is going to be checking out items. So now that we've returned that calculator, we can check it back out to our student. And here we can also change the date. So let's say maybe we need this to go longer than our default time that we allow. We can select that, apply, and check that item out. And then just to confirm, we can now see that that calculator has gone out for our set amount of time. This is really just to help with bulk, uh, basically returns and checkouts. Um, so we're not constantly going in and out. And so moving back to our next topic. A uh, few other enhancements that we've added are going to be our kiosk customization and our enhanced search functionality. These are both admin uh, additions as well. So we have on our admin side, going to our kiosk and the sign in station. We have this gear icon that's been here before, but now we have a few other options that have been added. Instead of just being able to default what option is being selected, we now have it to where we can make it to where you don't have to select an, this option at all. It can be either required or optional or not show to, to be selected in that path. So if I wanted to only make it to where a service and an advisor is selected, not a subject area, I would then select these two. I can make them required. I can also lock it down to a default and set that up. We now can see it's locked down to only in-person advising at the bottom. And if I go to log in our user, you can see that I only have the options to select an advisor. And then we're going to move on from there because we've already selected our service with our locked default and then the user will select an advisor. There's no need to uh, necessarily fill out the other options 
if that's not how the system has been set up. And then just logging back in to show our last admin feature. We have our reports with our search function. Uh, now our search function has been enhanced to allow you to search for not only the title of a report, but the actual uh, category it could be under. So an example of that would be our student reports. We have a student profile where it comes up under demographics, but we can also pull up now the topic demographics and it's going to show us all of the reports in there. So it's just a better way to get an idea of what reports may give some of the same information, maybe a different layout, um, but allows you to search for exactly what information you may need. And our last features to kind of cover are going to be some things that are just kind of making your life easier in academia. Uh, so we have our landing page for resource reservations. This is going to give not only students, um, but also admins a landing page unique to them with instructions on how to book a reservation for the first time if they maybe have never been through the process. Uh, we also now have optimized appointment scheduling. So this is going to speed up this process. And our last topic would be our removal of the academia team in your users. Uh, you guys now won't have to filter or worry about seeing that in your user accounts. And um, thank you everybody for joining us today. Um, as always, uh, just as a reminder, if you uh, do have any further questions before our next meeting, uh, you can go ahead and um, send us an email to support at academia.com or you can email me at rachelc at engineerica.com. Um, can somebody grab that survey link uh, for anybody who has not uh, and paste that in the chat? Uh, so for anybody who has not taken our survey yet, uh, this just kind of helps us keep the uh, this helps us keep the uh, sessions relevant uh, to anyone who um, for anybody who joins us so that we can keep providing some good um, some good con some good information to you all every month. Uh, so again, thank everybody. Thank you everyone for coming. I know that um, we're about to start fall or some of us have already started the fall term. So uh, especially great to have you all here. That's really exciting. And uh, I just know our team is here for anything that you run into during the semester. Uh, whether it be any um, any hiccups you encounter or just any additional features you want to take a look at utilizing uh, that you think might make your life a little easier, um, we are we are here for you. So that link is now in the chat. If any if anyone has not taken it, uh, if you were able to just complete that survey really quick, we'd really appreciate your time. All right, we are going to go ahead and close out for the day. Thank you again, and have a great rest of your day and great rest of your week.